It is kind of cute, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have whipped cream in my face. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let that one slide. <laughs> Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. And, and in this video, we're gonna hit up some Mewtwo raids and maybe uh, cast some shiny Requeezos. Bro, bro, bro. This oh. is... This is my channel. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is my channel. Oopsies. Well, we're doing a mukbang. Um, yeah, this is going to be my first mukbang since my YouTube channel is back on. Welcome back to YouTube and welcome to Thailand. And welcome to Thailand. I love this place. I've been wanting to come back here for a really, really long time. Um, so yeah. So, so oh. what, what are we eating today? Are we eating mukbang? He, he thought the word <laughs> mukbang is pizza. So I this is like his first actual real mukbang. <laughs> first time, yeah. Right. And I was like, hey, can we do mukbang? He's like, what? Eat pizza? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, my buddy Akasan, <laughs> he did a mukbang video. I'm like, wow, that's a new pizza in Japan. But I was like, no, it's not. It's apparently mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. So it's going to be my first mukbang with you guys. Mm -hmm. And she's going to, uh, you know, eat a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, we're going to eat a lot of food, just talk, ramble. Um, pour a lot of hot sauce. One of my favorite hot sauces. You guys will see that in a bit. Or no. Bam, right there, right there. That's awesome. Wait, wait, I might do that. I might, I might do this. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Yes, yeah. focused. Okay, the last hot sauce. The link will be in the description below if you guys are interested. Yes. Uh, okay, so what, how about, uh, Chef Tong, how about you introduce me about what we're going to have All uh, right, Cassie, so what we got today is some Thai chicken wings. Yes. Some liver, lob, because you like liver. I love liver. And we got some sometime salad, because in Thailand, you always want to have something sour and something spicy. What's What's sometime? Sumtum is papaya salad in Thai, mm -hmm. and for the Thai pillars is for the Thai pillars of taste, I guess, is always sour, savory, or so sour, sweet, spicy, and salty. Yeah. So every dish or at least a meal should encompass all four pillars. Umami, right? Exactly. Yes. So we have sumtum <laughs> papaya salad, which is sour and spicy, along with some chicken wings, which is savory, salty. And a, little, and a little sweet with some rice, sticky rice. Always yes, sticky rice, by the way. <laughs> and we have some liver, which is liver lob, and it also encompass a little bit of sweet and sour and a little bit of spicy. So, a little wonderful. bit of four, a little bit of everything, you know? Yeah. Something to make your taste buds dance. So, with the sticky rice, um, it normally, like back in the States, it's like sticky rice and mango, but here you can eat it as like a substitute for regular rice, right? I yeah. mean, like, um, I remember I went to eat with you and Angie the first time, and I was like, "Do I eat this with my hands or do I eat it?" Always before? with your hands. <laughs> Always. Like this is like a few times when like you can use your hands, but wash your hands off for you though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget. I know it's exciting, but yeah, see much. Uh, did I? Yeah, I washed my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all right. So okay. uh, let's just dig in. Yes, I'm gonna choose chicken wings first. Oh yeah, and we have we have this special sauce. If you guys can, I don't want to spill it. Yeah, right there. Right there. It has like scallions and like chili flakes, right? It's a Thai hot sauce where, it's a traditional Thai hot sauce where it does, again, influence the Thai taste where it's like a little sour, a little sweet, a little salty. Yeah. And a little bit tighter. But to add on to all that flavor, we're going to have some the last hot sauce. Yeah, my hot sauce company. And uh, it's a very traditional Thai hot sauce where you guys have to try it yourself to believe. It's the first and only tasty hot sauce out there so uh, you know it's perfect with chicken wings it's the complete umami in a bottle yeah definitely basically. try it yes i love it because like there's a lot of hot sauces out there it's just like super spicy and like i don't taste anything well it's a super vinegary yeah but this has it's so flavorful like so flavorful that's the main point why i started the hot sauce because sometimes i don't want vinegar in all my food i want something delicious to complement my food oh it smells so something good. aromatic and something that well be versatile to use for any kind of dish. So definitely try it out if you like. If you like hot sauce. We're gonna put some in here, okay? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, there. It's not cool. a lot. I'm gonna put more later. Yeah. I'll put more later. Yeah. No, we got a big bottle. My bottles come in 12 ounce bottles, so definitely you can always, you have enough to share. That's, that's the point. <laughs> you always want to share with your friends, even though like, you don't want to sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Let's I'm gonna try in. this. All right, so. So good look at some Thai chicken wings right there. Yeah, uh, right uh, there. there we go. Kamehameha right there with some chicken <laughs> it's wings. It's a cute chicken wing. Hey, why is it smaller here? Um, I guess we don't. I don't know. I guess we don't make our chickens that fat. 
Mm. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Disclaimer, guys, if you don't like hearing like people chewing loud. <laughs> <laughs> this is not ASMR, this is just eating. However you want. I got some sticky rice and lip in there. Uh, <laughs> dip it into like the, the little sauce right here with the with the sum-sum. Mmm. <laughs> Makbang! Mmm. <laughs> gotta try my hot sauce here. Gotta dip with my hot sauce. Yep. Damn. Perfect for chicken. Are you even gonna use this fork? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> mm. I find it more flavorful if you just eat it straight from your hands. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with like Indian food and stuff. Yeah, Indian food is like, you gotta use your hands. Mm -hmm. So I love the non bread too with Indian food. Huh? But you know, instead of non, we got a sticky rice right here. Be a lot of like, you know, chewing and talking. <laughs> That's what mukbang is. And with sticky rice, you can dip it with like, say, like a sauce, like, say with the papaya salad. Oop. Mm -mm -mm. I got that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, let me try some of this papaya salad. I'm hungry. You hungry? Um, I was about to pass out <laughs> before recording this. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> Stress, guys. Make sure you guys eat. She was preparing for the mukbang, so she didn't eat anything for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna pick out. <laughs> <laughs> whole point. You gotta eat a lot for you, know? You gotta, when you eat, you eat the whole day, that's when like food tastes really good. <sighs> Major so, munchies. Yeah, get, gotta get the munchies. Mmm. Mmm. Try some of the liver though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, this chicken wings is so good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. I'd rather have it petite like this, so. I overstuffed my face. <laughs> Let's just try to chew. This is gonna be our thumb thumbnail picture. <laughs> mm. I got chicken wings. So I do, I'll do a I'll do a mix of bam. Make sure of yours. Yeah, some yeah. There we go. Can I have some tissue. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! And with all this, I love. Not to sound like I'm sponsoring anything, but I love some Coca Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola, if you're watching, you can like, you know, sponsor this channel. <laughs> can you guys hear this? I love the sound of this. <laughs> I'm gonna pour more. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna get some more chicken wings. Oh! Ah, tickled me. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, guys, like, you've been in town for how long now? Um... Starting like tomorrow, I guess it's like almost a month, right? Three three weeks now. Wow. Yeah. So, there's a you've been to Thailand before though. Yeah, I've been to Thailand like twice, but like a short period of time, just like a week. All right, so this is the longest. It's I've always been. like a different experience. Once, like if you're a tourist, everything in every country is always amazing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, Thailand's amazing stuff. You know, loving. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. But like, as far as like, from your last visit to now, like, how has your experience been? That's it's, a big question. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, I feel less like a tourist. Because like, last time I came here, I did all the touristy things. Here, I just like, I don't know, I just kind of adapted to it. Um, you know, like, as you guys may know, I'm here for an internship. So I like, get to stay in this apartment, kind of try to like, you know, act like I just moved to a new place. Definitely. Like, Instead of like vacationing, like I'm moving, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, moving to a different country versus visiting a different country. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it always makes all the difference in like your experience of the country or whatever you're living at. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just taking pictures and like, no. you know, seeing like the pretty stuff. Like you're enjoying the everyday life of a, of a Thai citizen. Yeah, half of the time I'm just like watch. I'm just going like looking right and left. Just try not to get hit because like the traffic here is like <laughs> I feel like in that what's that game the frog game what's that that oh god you know what I mean what's that game called it's like a frog jumping and then there's like uh, a frog try not to get hit you guys know you guys know what for I your mean, older right? for for the older people you guys know what we're talking about for the younger people you guys probably <laughs> don't know what we're talking about it's like super like that, isn't that the Nintendo game Nintendo game right. 
I think so, or like an old Game Boy. I think I got Far Crossing. This is like a simple name. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like intricate. It's just like Far Crossing and like frog. a frog is crossing the street. Yeah. yeah. And it points to like not get hit by a car. <laughs> is there a frog or is it a chicken? The frog. It's a frog. Yeah, that's a frog, yeah. Just <laughs> liver. Oh. Correction, my girlfriend just. My girlfriend just correct me. This is not called liver lob, it's that one. Which is stop is liver and wine means sweet, so sweet liver. And the game is called Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to my girlfriend who, uh, you know, she is more knowledgeable in these things. Thanks, than, Angie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so um, what has been your biggest shock being in town thus, thus far? Oh. Uh -huh. for, for the viewers who, like, are kind of, like, a little scared about being in town for a little bit, you know, you're not a native Thai person, of course, but like, mm -hmm. as far as living here, like, um, what has been your biggest surprise? It could be good or bad, it doesn't matter, just whatever comes first to mind. The sticky hot water weather? Yeah. Yeah. It's like hot, but you're wet all the time. You know what Thai people do? What? Do baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> so in Thailand, <laughs> when we were in LMS school, we'll eat lunch and then we'll always brush our teeth. And then we'll put baby powder on our face on our necks uh, before we take a nap before nap time. Mm. I think preschool. That's when you take nap times. You don't take nap times in elementary school. It'd be kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> preschool. <laughs> so that's what type of people do. And if you guys ever come here, just wear a lot. Just bring a lot of white shirts because baby powder is gonna show through like black shirt. Wait. So what does the baby powder do? It just it keeps it the friction. It like... keeps the body dry so you don't feel the humidity. So if you're not feeling the humidity, it's gonna feel cooler because the clothes not sticking to your skin like another layer of skin. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm always sweating here, guys. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Which is technically, I guess, a good thing because you're like detoxing. Mhm. Mm sweating all out but if you guys girls if you guys are here try not to wear too much makeup because you kind of i kind of feel <laughs> like a little bit gross after a while but if you hung if you hung over watch out too because <laughs> when you're hung away you're feeling heat oh it's gonna you're gonna you'll feel hang over like what headaches right there yeah for sure there's gonna be a lot of people who hung over in Bangkok. I have spent many days hung over and hating life here in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh my god, the heat is so hot. But the good thing is that like in trains and in malls the AC are blasting like chilly. Mm -hmm. Like you're cold in trains, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the mall. I'd say during those times when like you're in a train, if you're a girl, I, w I always tell my girlfriend to savor the coldness of the AC being blasted in your face before you're going out, you know, back out into time heat. <laughs> yeah. You know. But like, Thailand is pretty humid, but like, I would say if you go come down here and visit, December and January is actually pretty good. I heard it gets hotter than this, right? In During summer. In April. Okay. Thai New Year's. Oh yeah. Thai New Year's is... Tiny Tiny uh, kind of moves around, depending like you know a few days or a few weeks, depending yeah. on like the heat temperature because Tiny is celebrated on the hottest day of April, mm -hmm. which is like the hottest time in Thailand. And if you guys ever come here in April, it's actually a really fun time because this is a massive water fight. Oh yeah, that's what I that's what I heard. Yeah, if you like getting water fights, if you don't like water fights, sense. then don't come here. That makes, <laughs> oh, chicken wing. Oh, sorry. Shit, I'll eat that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I was trying to run away. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting away from here. Sure. <laughs> oh, I mean, bomb. that makes sense. It's like the hottest time of the year, and then people are just throwing water. <laughs> right? Water and baby powder. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with baby powder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you just, like, fucking, just, like, toss baby powder out of your face. You're like. <laughs> oh, feels good. <laughs> uh, and America is a little bit different, though. What? Thai New Year. At least the Thai New Year that I've been to. Is that if you like a girl or a guy, if you're a teenager, this might help you guys out. Uh, basically, if you like somebody, you just put like whipped cream or like powder in their face when they're wet. It's a fun little thing when you're a teenager. That's very interesting. It's a cute thing. It's, cute. <laughs> it's interesting. It is kind of cute, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have whipped cream in my face. I bet you do. <laughs> I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna let that one slide. <laughs> That's what she said. 
Mukbang. I'm trying, I'm trying not to choke on this chicken wing right now. <laughs> Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. Anyways, woo, I am blushing. It's hot in here. I just have that I effect think, on think, girls. No, I it's think a natural thing. It's, I, I I've been I've been I've been cursed with this gift. It's the chili sauce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. How many how many chicken wings have you eaten? I don't count. I'm I'm destroying it. I'm being faster here. I've been just eating the 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 liver. Mm. How do you say it? How do you say it? It's uh, time to learn Thai, guys. Uh, dap. Dap. One. One. Dap one. Yep. Dap one. <laughs> Close. Dap one. There we go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Less awkward. <laughs> say it faster. If you have any foreign language, do not like dap. One, just be like that one. Say it like you know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to say like that one, it's that one. You know? But also like, although I'm Thai, I'm not viewed as a Thai person here in Thailand. I know, you don't... So, how is this approach? You know, how do people approach you? Just now, like, you didn't, weren't you handling someone who's like Thai, and then some person, like about some, um... Japanese guy was trying to return a beer that was leaking. Yeah, we're at a uh, family mart and there was some issue with the guy returning some beer that was like broken and like beer was leaking out and like I had to translate because he's Japanese and I can speak Japanese and the people were Thai and they couldn't speak English or Japanese mm -hmm. so I had to translate and you know it worked out okay but at the same time everyone was shocked that I was able to speak two language because in Thai people's eyes I don't walk like a Thai person, I don't talk like a Thai person, I don't act like a Thai person, at least a native Thai person. Yeah. And so I'm a walking confusion <laughs> for most people, because they don't know how to classify me as a foreigner. You're just exotic. Thank you, I'm exotic, yeah. That's a very fancy way of saying confusion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, it is what it is, but I, I like it, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind it, I like confusing people. I like, people's, I like seeing people's reaction when, like, they can see me speak Thai, but English at the same time. But it is how it is. So I think everyone kind of has that kind of same expectation. Spicy? Got chili? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if I cry on here, guys, please don't judge me. <laughs> Come on, Talon. You, you better like spicy food. If you don't like spicy food, don't go on Talon. Talon is all about the spice. If you like fresh fruits, though, come to Thailand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Thai food's good. I love the fresh fruits. Um, mangoes, mango steam. Mm -hmm. I actually never tried mango steam until I came here. Mm hmm. And if you guys like durian, you guys should, should come here. <laughs> oh, yeah, durian. Durian, that smelly, amazing fruit with the spikes all around it. Oh, the, na the, the, the best custard in the world. Just so, let you know, it's not that bad. The smell is a different story, but when you actually taste it, it actually like erases the smell that you get turned off by. When you actually taste it, it's sweet and light. But that's if they can get past the smell though. Get past the smell. Right? Try some culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good. Just try it. Just, like Even though like, you're like, oh my god, it smells so bad. Just put it in your mouth and you're like, wow, actually it tastes really good. And after that, the smell will not bother you anymore. So something to keep in mind. So definitely come out to Thailand. Yeah. You better like food too, because we eat a lot of food. Huh, yeah, definitely. Mm. You know, uh, you know, I've been eating a lot of chicken wings. I'm going to get some more some thumb. Yeah, I want to eat. Uh, yeah, I get more some thumb. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm saying something. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, some thumb, something. Some yeah. some something. Mm hmm. Oh, damn, we got a chill right there. Ah. Uh, damn. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Mmm, I love the peanuts in it. I gotta get some chicken wings. Mmm. Guys, you got. When you guys get papaya salad, there's like all sorts of papaya salads, a kind of papaya salad, right? Oh, yeah, there's a lot. There's like. There's like fermented crab, the fermented shrimp. Fermented. If you guys like ferment fermented stuff, then. You're you're in you're you're in for the good stuff. Probiotics. Probiotics. <laughs> this chicken wings taste so good with the hot sauce. Mhm. Mm so good. So good with like pork belly too. You got like pork belly. 
I put on my burritos. Mm hmm. It's like the sauce in it. Mm hmm. Bop bong. <laughs> what? Bop bong. <laughs> A muck bong. <laughs> So this is my first my bong, Cassie. Like, where did the term come from? Is it like who made like I don't, I don't I have no idea. I mean, it's been really popular, right, on YouTube. Basically, just it's either mukbang or ASMR, which I can't really do because I I like to eat my food and not whisper because I think whispering is kind of weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, but. Mukbang is the term is basically just eating like a large amount of foods or varieties of food. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and it's just like a social eating, food eating show. That's every day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I hope that while you're watching this, you're eating something too. For those who knows what mukbang is. Mm-hmm. I like to eat alone sometimes, and when I feel lonely, I just put on mukbang on and I just eat with a virtual person. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Right. Um, Especially if you feel better about yourself because like, okay, that person eat a lot more than me. Okay, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have to feel so guilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Mix this. Mmm. 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 There's all sorts. Sometimes people just don't talk. I just like, shove food in Sometimes their mouth. Sometimes they mouth. just want to eat, you know? Mm-hmm. They just want to, like, don't talk to me. They're not eating. Yeah. <laughs> But I like to talk and eat. I'm not sure if it's rude, but I like to talk and eat. <laughs> it's not rude. It's not, I don't think it's rude in most countries. I think eating itself is a form of entertainment for a lot of countries. So like, it's fine. But like, you know, if I if I work 12 hours in a day, I'm eating my first meal. <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, alright, I'm eating. I mean, I think it's like a social thing. So, to me. Yeah, definitely it is. Yeah. A, a meal tastes better. What friends? Mm hmm. A family. Yeah. Oh, family. someone you like or love. Or your dog or your puppy or your cat. Yeah. Or your guinea pig or your lizard or your sna snake. <laughs> I said I was about to say snacks. Snacks would be here if you guys know me. My little snacks, my son would totally be eating. Actually, he's vegetarian. Never mind. No, wait, we're good enough. We're good enough now, soon. <laughs> Watch out, fool. Watch out, fool. I'm gonna I'm kidnap snacks. I've been hired. <laughs> Mm. So, um, do you have any family here in Thailand? All my family's here. There's like my mother and my brother in Thailand and my aunt. Okay. I have one, two cousins. Okay. Everybody else, my grandma and my aunt. My mom, she's a family of six. Wow, that's a big family. Yeah, six siblings. So like, you know, everyone's here in Thailand. I visit them, but sometimes they don't see me because everyone's working all the time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I always make sure I'm visiting my grandma. Of course, always our grandma. Mm -hmm. Always. My grandma's super cute. <laughs> I think all grandmas are super cute. Yeah. It's like they're like they're tiny and old. <laughs> you know, I just fucked them the whole time. So, you know, yeah. You know. They're, they're, they're not too old to hit me though. <laughs> Sometimes my my fuck with her too much. She likes like you know give me a little smack. <laughs> but it's a cute smack though. <laughs> Like, oh, I love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have seen us when we buy the chicken wings. Like, like we we got chicken wings. And we're like, oh, can we get five, like five pieces? And like, no, five orders. Five orders, please. <laughs> and like, you see people in the kitchen come out like, what? Like, who is this? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So you got got good chicken wings. Yeah, these are really good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay, I keep forgetting that we have this. I keep dip dipping it in yours. That's fine. Double dip. No, I mean, I'm saying I, I keep forgetting we have a, a sauce here. Well, bam, 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 <laughs> bam, bam, bam. bam. <laughs> so, Actually, kind of cool. how's like the Thai media here? Like, you know, the TV shows, news. How's it different from the states? Is there is it different? From the I haven't really been watching like. Um, Thai news or anything like um, that. It's kind of, kind of weird. Weird? Yeah. It's like they show like countryside stuff and like, like oh okay. <laughs> they show food like everything like I think like most country kind of shows like kind of like 
the general like local food, local businesses, you know, some kind of tragedy or like some kind of political issues that's going on. How about like the rom com sitcom stuff? Oh god, like that's really popular uh, in the states, but I don't want like you know the Bachelor, Bachelorette, like, uh, or all, something. All my loud friends they like to watch Thai sitcoms. I'm like, why do you like to watch that Thai sitcoms? Okay, Thai sitcoms is about girls screaming at the top of their lungs. The mother is always slapping a woman. <laughs> Like you're not my child. Slap <laughs> and like it, like it, like a dramatic. Like oh my god, mother. <laughs> so if you like to watch girls screaming at the top of the lungs, why is she slapping her daughter in the first place? She's doing something shameful. Just like ah, slap. <laughs> uh, Damn, she, the daughter must be doing something shameful like all the time then. And like every drama, there's like there's some kind of reason for the mother to slap the child. <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't want to watch a drama where like girls are yelling on the top of their lungs and getting, and getting slapped by their mothers, you might not like it. But if you do like those kind of things, then yeah, it's a great show to watch. <laughs> what do I watch you about? Props to the actress. Do they get slapped in real life? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm acting all about, right? <laughs> That's some professional acting right there. <laughs> Sorry. I think in those cases, like, a lot of actors do get slapped slap on, like, on accident. Yeah. Okay, how would you take me where you take, like, back slap, back slap. I would totally be bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just purposely, like, slap everybody. Like, oh, sorry. Ah! Oh, sorry. Ah! Sorry. It's <laughs> 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 all part of the job. Don't, don't slap and eat, guys. Don't, yeah, don't slap and eat. That's no. not cool. <laughs> That's not cool. That's the most, like, random thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> we just totally did that though. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I would say if you do come here to Thailand though, definitely check out the movie theaters. Uh, I've never been. Why? Never been to Thai movie? Why? Is oh, the, they the, got like the five star movie theaters over here. Like they got the waiters. Like in Thailand, they get the, like it's, it's it's like they they value their customers. Mm. And so, like, you know, it was kind of weird. Like, we went to, like, the, like, the five-star movie theater one time to go watch Star Wars, uh, The Force Awakens. And, like, the, the waiter comes in, like, he gets on his knees, like, do you, uh, what would you like, sir? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll have a beer and popcorn. I'm like, okay, cool. And then we get to you, and, like, on, you know, sitting on a big-ass lazy boy couch with your buddy, you know? I would fall asleep. Uh, I would totally fall asleep. Uh, we, we did, we had a few, we had a few times. <laughs> Got a few So, how was the movie? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun, Cool. Spoiler alert! No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely cool because like, I think, I think, America's not to adapt that, but not as good as Asia though. Not as good as Asia. Like I've been to those ones like they have like steaks and like big ass couches, but they don't have like a like a personal waiter. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I should just work there. <laughs> Movies, share food. They do have really good food at movie theaters. Really? Oh yeah. Some some movie theaters? Oh yeah. You know, do they have popcorn? Hmm? <laughs> That's like the bare minimum. <laughs> Wait, do they have popcorn there? Did mm. Okay. I went to the movie theater. Like, have... is it special popcorn? Hmm. Yeah, actually I just remember. They have salted egg popcorn. Salted egg. It's kind of like... I don't know. <laughs> it's not fermented, but basically it's like hardware eggs that's been like kind of like, you know, like... Salted? Salted. But like, brine, but like coated in salt. Yeah, so it goes into the yolk, right? Yeah, it's like seeps through the, like the eggshell and the yolk. Okay. And yeah, like, it's brine. Yeah. And like it's like an umami kind of like flavor, but like they have like a salted egg popcorn, which is kind of like. I see that everywhere, like salted egg ice cream, salted egg chips, uh, and there was like. Is there a salted egg smoothie or is it just? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do add it in there. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a salted egg salad too. Which the is next, not next mukbang, guys, I'm gonna do a salted egg feast. <laughs> Comment below if you guys want. Yeah. See that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. That's. You better get a lot of water though. <laughs> <It's> salty. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting full here. Huh? Oops. I was going strong. I was going strong, but now I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hanging there. Hmm. It might have been a lot of chicken. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Mm-hmm. Um, my mouth is burning. In a really, 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 really satisfying way. 
I'm telling, I'm telling you, your mouth got burned. You gotta, you gotta have the sniffles. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. All right, cool. So, yeah, well, I've been, I, so, like, I've been interning at a two Michelin star restaurant. Um, it's been a, quite an experience, actually. Um, if you guys can guess where it is, just let me know down there. I mean, um, but yeah, like, it's, it's been a, it's, it was a really random but spontaneous trip to come down, to come down here. But anything, anything for food, to be honest. Like, I've been watching a lot of, like, on Netflix, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, street food, chef's table. Um, yeah, they all, they always inspire me to travel. And then it's like, you know, the architectures and, you know, the histories and stuff. But it's mostly food for me. That's the beauty about, that's the beauty about like, traveling, eating. Because, like, every country has their own flavors. And yeah. You're always surprised. Yeah, exactly. If you're not surprised, you're not traveling right. <laughs> but mostly it's, I come here on, if you guys haven't watched street food on Netflix, you got to watch it. It's like street foods all over, like Vietnam, Taiwan. But then my favorite episode is... Um, the one in Thailand. Nice, nice. Yeah. And, uh, how's your internship been so far? It's been amazing, actually, and kind of exhausting, but amazing. Yeah, that's what you gotta, I, learned, I learned a lot. You gotta be exhausted. If you're not exhausted, you're not working, right? Yeah, it's my first, it's my first fine dining experience, and it's something I totally did not expect. I've been pushing her to come here, so I'm very proud of her that she's here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've talked about it so many times. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my god, I am so full. We practically just like in your hot sauce like almost I'm throughout the yeah. whole time. I'm pretty much mukbanged out. Mukbanged out. And thanks guys for watching and thank you Tong for convincing me to come here. It's been a perfect timing for me to come out here for my internship. And so yeah. I'm so proud of you for being here and I, you know, I hope you enjoy your experience in Thailand. And yep. if you guys are watching, definitely come out to Thailand yes. too. Yes, yes. And then, yeah. All right. Well, don't forget to hit the like though if you like this video. Yeah, and, and subscribe. Comment and comment like comment of uh, which what do you want me to eat next? Definitely. Salted you want egg. See, you want uh, to eat like, a lot of food, egg. right? Yeah, you don't want to see me. Sorry, you want to see her. I was gonna burp. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, guys. Thank you for joining us and watching us pig out. Yeah. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like. You dying? No. I'm great. <laughs> All right. Eat some more.